It wasn't so much what Vladimir Putin said in the speech, more so what he didn't say. He didn't declare an end to the ongoing, quote unquote, special military operation, as it's been called out of the Kremlin and as Vladimir Putin has called it. He didn't uh, declare all out war or a mobilization of a uh, partial mobilization or mobiliz full mobilization of more troops. Um, and he didn't declare victory. So uh, basically what we heard was, as you mentioned, uh, a lot of deflection, a lot of distortions, uh, blaming the West, blaming NATO, blaming, blaming Ukraine uh, for its, uh, and these I'm basically paraphrasing and summarizing what Putin said, but an aggressive posture on, uh, on the account of all three. Um, and basically saying that Russia, you know, launched its special military operation to protect its security interests. Well, this was an invasion that started February 24th, and since then, tens of thousands at least of men, women, children, civilians have died. So where this goes at this point, how much longer remains to be seen. But what we are seeing is more attacks, is more death, is more destruction in the east, in the Donbass region, Donetsk, Luhansk, more intensive fighting overnight over the weekend. In fact, on Sunday, a school that was serving as a bomb shelter outside of the city of Luhansk was bombed during a Russian aerial strike, uh, killing possibly as many as 20 to 30 people, uh, including several children. We're waiting for uh, a full confirmation of the death toll from that attack. And also in the south, the battles continue to rage. Uh, we know that more people over the weekend were evacuated from Mariupol, the southern port city, as fighting continues to rage there. And also a little bit further north along the front lines, just to the south of Zaporizhia, which is where we were. We were in one of those villages, as we talked about on Friday, that came under attack. And by the way, that was a battle that intensified not only Friday, but into the weekend as well. And we understand that the area that we were in, the village that we were in, was really hit bad. I mean, it was so, hit so bad, communication was lost with all the people that were there. So we're still waiting to find out how extensive the damage is. But we're expecting, obviously, some not very good reports as the fighting rages in the south. and. In